my name's Emma and I'm part of the Animal Experiences team here at Auckland Zoo. And today we're going to show you something very exciting. A new addition to our team is our very young barn owl chick. And we're about to do some feeding. Barn owls are predominantly rodent hunters, which means that even at this young age, he still seems to prefer mice over chick. But we like to get both into him. We chop it into really nice, yummy sized, easy pieces. The TLC that he's in is basically acting like his nest. It keeps him at room temperature, but if for some reason the temperature in the room was to drop, it heats him back to a nice 20 degrees. Hi. Just a little touch, just to know I'm coming on in. It's important that we have to wake him up, even if he is sleeping, we wake him up throughout the day so that he has his feeds. He gets five feeds a day at the moment. Um, if he chooses to not eat, that's up to him if he's not hungry, but we like to give him the option. And it normally takes a few minutes for him to wake up and stomp around, which I understand takes me a few minutes too. How you doing? Let's give you a little way. Oh, big wings. 300 on the nose. So the first thing we do, grab a piece of food, dunk it in water, keep the baby hydrated. You didn't actually take it, you want to try again? <laughs> See if we can find a juicy piece. Standing up on his feet, he's only just started doing this the last couple of days. I think this is the first time I fed him while standing. The reason this little bar now was bred here at the zoo is because he is going to be a very important role for our advocacy. So he's going to join our free flight team. For us to be able to free fly him, it's actually very important that he sees humans as a really fun thing. So we bring lots of funny voices, we bring lots of yummy food, um, we hang out with him, we talk to him, and as you can see, he's pretty relaxed in our company, which is perfect. This experience for me has been unbelievable. I've never hand reared or been part of a hand rearing team for an hour before. I think you're filled up. Shall we see how many grams you put on? So this is where we now do the post feed weighing. So he weighed 300 grams before feeding. He now weighs 315 grams. 15 grams of food. That was a good feed. So what we've got there is all that mouse and chick that we've just cut up. Uh, what we're gonna do is grab a set of scales. We're gonna grab this glove here as well. All right, and off we go. Okay. Every day we pop down his weight. Uh, we also uh, document if he has left a pellet overnight. So um, he'll kind of spit up all the bones and fur uh, in this lovely little pellet. Um, and uh, we'll also just put down, uh, make sure all the fecals have been good. And then we just note to make sure that we've put um, some of our vitamins on the meat for him. Get just a little bit of food on the glove and then we'll just see He's ready to come down to eat. There you go. He's very food motivated, which makes training really, really good. Um, and we do what's known as positive reinforcement. It's a really effective way of training an animal. And um, we want to make the session really, really positive. Um, so every time he does what we're asking for, we give him a little treat. So that's a little bit of mouse or a little bit of chick, um, and then he gets to eat. So he's associating this glove with a really positive thing. So you fly to it and you get a bit of a meal. Uh, so we've got 375. We're gonna pop out out into the crate so that we can transport him to another part of the zoo. Today is the first time we're taking him to the Wild Works Center. He's been doing a lot of training in the Avery, which has been really, really good. He's getting very good at flying to glove. Now it's about taking him to a new place so he can see someone that's a bit different, uh, see the area where he will hopefully one day uh, be a part of an encounter and so that the visitors can see him free flight. 
see how this goes. Hi, how you doing? So what we're gonna try now is to tie the creons uh, onto that swivel. Having them really secure on the glove is really, really important, especially now when we're at the really early stages of teaching him to free fly. We want him to be really comfortable, like when you first take a dog for a walk, whether it's a, a puppy or maybe a little bit older than that. First time you take it out, you want it on a leash because they can be quite unpredictable. You don't know what they're gonna do. Everything's new, everything can be a bit scary or maybe really exciting. So having the leash just keeps everyone a lot safer, which is really, really important. As he starts to get more comfortable, we actually won't need any of that stuff. Popping him on here, mm -hmm. and then just start real small. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good boy. He did his first hop <laughs> on the crayon. Good boy. Well done. Hey. Yeah. Good. It's really important that we, we get people to connect with wildlife. The Hidden New Zealand Encounter is all about showing off all those really special animals that can be found here in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Come on. Barn owls are really important. Um, they're really useful for rodent control. Um, New Zealand has a really big problem with mice and rats. Um, and owls are really excellent at hunting down mice and rats. So having owls around is really, really important. What we'll do as a team is we'll kind of look at what makes them really, really special that helps people to connect with them. Good. Just by making those connections, people can actually um, feel that need and that want to really make a difference, which I think is really, really important. Okay. Come on. It's been a really fun journey for me. I've trained a lot of parrots, but Training birds of prey is really new. It's been a really great journey. I'm really happy with how today went uh, and I'm really excited to continue working with our owl. He makes it really easy to train, which is very exciting. Good. Perfect. Well done. The plan from here on out is to start more regularly doing these flights down here at the Wild Work Centre. Eventually, we'll kind of see the point where he's getting a lot faster at those flights when he seems to not get distracted by things as easily. Uh, and then eventually we'll get to that point where we're gonna be free flying him, which is very, very cool. Uh, and I think our barn owl is gonna be really great.